<laughs> oh, oh, Why this next topic is good. This Why next is topic is good for y'all two too. We're starting with y'all two on this one. Oh, great. <laughs> Ass whoopings. <laughs> <laughs> I love that already. <laughs> you had your share. Share. Yes, son. Uh, Wait, you go on? Come here, give me a hug. Your, <laughs> your son goes ass whipping Wait, daddy. What? I'm ready for <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love you. Keep your partners it out wasn't of me. it. I didn't do it. <laughs> That's why he on his get right. Keep your partners right. out of this conversation. <laughs> Wait, what? That's so funny. I, I said, I said, are you talking about your kids or your partners? <laughs> yeah. Your partners out of it. <laughs> Amy's got that whip. <laughs> yeah. I'm lost. <laughs> and I you look it man. too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Archie, yeah, Archie, what did you say? Oh, okay. Yes. Ass whoopings. Oh. Um, I said, are you talking about your kids or your partners oh well no i'm single as fuck so (laughs) my kids ass whoopings um yeah nah he doesn't have to but see the thing is though what i've noticed with with, uh, at least with mine i don't have to whoop all my kids ass though some of them i can talk to them and just take some shit away but some of them oh i gotta whoop that ass (laughs) (laughs) all mine were different all mine were different one i had to actually whoop him the other one just needed to see me whoop him, and the other one was like, "I'm good. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay see? over here in my spot." And that, that, see, and that's why homie barely got any ass whoopings. She's talking about how because you see the older ones getting their ass whooped, so then you don't fuck up because you're not trying to get those same type of ass mm-hmm. whoopings. We're going to. Okay. I done told you, please. And see, and yeah, yeah, and the thing is, is like. I knew his, I knew homie's dad too, or whatever, like that. We was real good friends and shit. So like. I didn't necessarily see them, but I heard those ass whoopers. <laughs> and, Yo, and once they, once they sometimes say that's that, all you need. And, and, he, yeah. and he has the he has the he has the black dad with the white mom. So he's getting uh, like so he's getting like both ends <laughs> both ends of that. <laughs> but yeah. Um well, I, uh, Deadhead, well, you and your son, had you whoop his ass? I mean, like, yeah. Okay. Dad, oh, so hold up. 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 I don't think I got that many ass whoopings as a kid. I I got them, them, but maybe not as much as other kids did because I was kind of. Well, because. I was too afraid to get in trouble, to be honest. This is the way I am, okay? Like, I, I try, I didn't, I don't, I never liked to whip my kids. However, there was times when things were, I always looked at it, okay, there's things that are, permittable for spanking and there's things that are permittable for other punishments i didn't think an ass whipping was always the necessary route to go no but yeah he got his fair share but like you said i didn't do it often it's just me and seth have always had a a pretty decent relationship where you know he's 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 a very respectful kid and he always has been uh and we've been able to level out with each other more times i mean when, when he was a child it was different he was learning but now like he's probably one of my best friends oh yeah Aww. So. good deal that's so cute. good deal that's what's up well what's i will up. say that i grew up in a very very i know this is going to surprise all of you very surprise strict me. very strict baptist home me oh, too you got that ass whooped me too okay i know this that's is that he knows him. I, I went to a private Baptist school my entire life. Hey, mm. can do that though. Okay. This is going to surprise all of you, I know. But my school had demerits. And when you got so many demerits, you got spanked by the principal. I got a lot of demerits for talking. I know that's going to shock everybody. <laughs> but it's true. And you would go to the principal's office and he would spank you with his belt. And then I would go home. And my dad would spank me with his belt. And I, you know, whatever your belief is on spanking, you have to realize this was in the 70s. And I mean, that was a different time. Um, But when I got married and I had my two boys, my ex-husband and I, we agreed that while the boys were in diapers, they would get swatted hard on the butt. Because when you're in diapers, that's your formative years. And then once they got out of diapers, we didn't 
we didn't spank them. We we found other ways of punishing them, whether it was taking it away the toy. Oh yeah. Headlocks. Oh, yeah. Then that's the and that's yeah, the and that's the and that's yeah. the part that matters right there. Yeah. Because yeah. like we were saying, like kid all all kids are different. All yeah. kids. They yeah. could be twins. They yeah. could, it doesn't matter. You know, mm-hmm. they're all different. So no, I mean that big props for that because I mean y'all figured out early on and I applaud y'all for that too, that y'all actually had that, that y'all came together on that because yeah. you see a lot of times too, where parents will be at odds on that, where one's yeah. okay with it and one's not, but mm-hmm. yeah, not all kids, not all kids actually, need that ass whoop. No, no. So cool. I can actually attest to that, to being on different sides. So my husband was, it, it was more like, you know, whoop that ass, right? Mm-hmm. Like, uh-huh. you know, and whoop then that ass. I was, well, does, does, does it actually like <laughs> merit getting your ass whooped, right? Yeah. Um, uh, my mom, I wasn't spanked as a child. Um, my mom didn't believe in spanking because my grandfather was a colonel in the military and he would whoop that ass. So, yeah. You oh. know, and that's kind of how that went. So my mom was complete opposite. So my husband and I, like, I'm kind of in the middle, like depending on the age of the child. Right. So I have a funny story about that too because my son has been spanked a handful of times maybe five like good ass whoopings like five times his whole life and he can name every single time because an yeah. ass whooping is only effective if if it's used every day don't do that hit, hit. don't right. do that smack don't talk then it's right they don't care anymore they're gonna choose the ass whooping over well so they can do whatever they want to do right at the end of the day right. that's right. how i feel about that but i remember we were in the grocery store one time and he was acting a fool a damn fool <laughs> And I bend over and I was like, do I need to take your ass into the bathroom as loud oh. as he could? No, I don't want to whoop in. I was like, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah. I'm trying to be discreet. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like yelling it out loud to the damn world that he was going to get his ass whooped. Um, but like going back to like different culture, right? But like in, in, in Ohio where I'm at, and I live in the, like the metro area, so Columbus area. I got to tell you what, some of these black mamas around here do not motherfucking play. You're talking a flip-flop coming off the Walmart. And some of yeah, I've heard that. Right yeah, I've seen some wild. of them motherfuckers like, curve a corner before. Yeah. I didn't even think you could do that with like physics yeah. and shit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. they're fucking yeah. crazy. So, like, we're going to talk about some of that like differences. Like I wasn't going to whip my kid. I was trying to be discreet. Like I'll take you to the bathroom. You know, he's yeah. like, no. Like, I was my, see, my husband my husband's mom whenever he was little and he was in a grocery store and he was acting out he told me he goes his mom would I I this reach, story. reach underneath and grab that skin that's right underneath his thigh and pinch it and says you don't oh, shut up and wouldn't take you to the bathroom <laughs> no, say, holy <laughs> shit. i mean i think my honest opinion about like spanking just in general i mean like say if you fuck up i mean like you fucked up big time i think you deserve a spanking you're like, not Brett? Oh, just kidding. And I mean, like, I, I mean, like, I mean, like, comes with grounding because I got grounded a lot. I got more. I got more. Who grounded. needs the doghouse with the spankings? I got more grounding than spankings. Is my business. I got more groundings than spankings, and groundings kind of. I mean, sort of actually helps. I mean, like, if you ground me now, I mean, like, I'm just gonna be like, I don't know, whatever. Well, I can't take his computer away because he bought it. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, but but it's like when you're a kid and shit, like me, when I'm standing in the corner and Spawn just came out and I can hear everybody behind me having a good time, fucking <laughs> watching Spawn and Willy Wonka in the fucking chocolate factory and shit. But I'm standing in the fucking corner because what? I decided I wanted to snatch everybody's backpack out, surround the freaking <laughs> desk, and have freaking three girls under that motherfucker in second grade like a dumbass. So, like, yeah. to what, uh, to what, uh, what, 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 um, what's, what, what's your name? What's your name? And I want to make sure I don't want to just say homie toaster. up there. I want to, or says, uh, but toaster, uh, toaster, or toaster. Something. All right, cool, cool. I can fuck with that. Toaster. All right, I can fuck with that. Right. Um, uh, so, like, you don't have to whoop your kids all the time, and you can feel grounded, especially mm-hmm. as a kid. You're gonna feel that a lot more because feeling left out of shit as a kid hurts more than as an as a grown up. You like. Psh- I'm in my own fucking lane anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> really? You know yeah, what I mean? Yes, like, for, fuck yes. it. But as a kid being left out, you're going to go cry in the car. You know what I mean? Like, that shit's yeah. fucked up. It it hurts. But you don't need to whoop. away. Yeah. You don't need to whoop, like, to what? So yeah. I think uh, I think a few of you said it. You don't need to whoop your kids, like, 
all the time for everything because no. then at that point yeah, no, then that's no. when it does get abusive yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying it oh, yes. does get abusive at that point like yeah. for me yeah. as a parent i learned this with my uh with my oldest was that the first thing that i checked oh, it wasn't no. even ass whooping related but i realized i didn't have to yell all the time you know what i mean and i, I had i sat there and i kind of checked myself and i just realized that every time i was getting on to her i was yelling and shit and then i'm sitting back and i'm like Bro, that shit would not work if that was me. If you were just sitting there yeah. yelling everything, no matter how big or small, that's not going to do anything. And then that, that kind of migrated into the ass whoopings as well. Like she's what she'll be the same way. She knows she's gotten grounded a lot, but she can tell you about those ass whoopings as well. You know what I'm saying? And when they went down. Now, I will I'll say I'm this. Now that, now, that my, now that my boys are young men, I'm learning all these things about them. But they just recently told me that the worst punishment that they ever got was when I would look at them and say, you've disappointed me. That that's would the hurt. Dis- that, that's the biggest disappointment. That would hurt. If I ever got that from both yeah. my parents just in general, I think that would hurt me a lot. Yeah. And, I mean, and my my youngest son, Wyatt, he said, oh, I would have much rather you just whoop my ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, hey, it sounds cliche, but when your parents say you done disappointed yeah. them, though, no, nah, yeah. that one fucking you fe- hurts. You, fe- you yeah. failed, basically. That's, yeah. what, that's yeah. what it feels like. Yeah. It's yeah. like, my mom, I've never really, I don't think I've ever really disappointed my parents, but like, if I ever heard that come out of their mouths, yeah. I know I fucked up. And yeah. I know, like, how am I going to make this up to them? And yeah. like, I don't have any kids of my own, but if I did, I mean, I'll hope they don't ever disappoint me because, like, I want to teach my kids right from wrong. They will. I, I mean, <laughs> they like, will. I they mean, will. Like, if, All kids do. <laughs> Love will. them anyways. <laughs> Love them anyways. I mean, I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to teach. I don't want to teach my kids what today's parents do because today's parents they just kind of like, yeah, sure, go do whatever you want because we don't care. Yeah. And then, and then when something See? does happen to them, they blame it on the other person. And that's how I, service, that's how I see hold it. Hold on a second, real quick. Okay. So I'm a so I was trying to say because Archie said something about yelling, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm a yeller. Like you can ask my kids, like I'm a yeller. But I have three levels of yelling, and that's why because my kids don't fucking listen. So like the <laughs> first time I kind of ask you, right? And the second Sorry, time I'm a little bit firmer. For sure. And then to finally yeah. get the freaking message across, I'm fucking screaming at the top of my lungs. Yeah, you better move that ass. Move, but yeah. they right, but they right. But then they did because they knew if you made mom get off the couch after the third yell, someone yeah. would get their ass whooped. Like yeah. that. I never had to yell. My, my, I, I my had mom, the look. Mom, my my mom, look would, would stop my yeah. kids in their tracks. My mom never had to say a word. My silence did it. Yeah. I just, yeah. I'm, I'm one of those where I believe all moms can go there. All moms have their part. I don't care size, I don't care how nice. I don't care if they were part of the Peace Corps. I don't give a damn. <laughs> if you piss them, if you piss a mom off, they can freaking go there. Cause remember I told y'all about like that him. whole curving around the corner thing. Yeah. yeah. So I come, I'm coming home from I'm coming home from uh from school. And my mom's friend is at <laughs> home. Her her kid yes. her kids are there. Her kids are there. And I guess he got in trouble at school. I don't know what the hell he did. So his mom's getting onto his ass and he decides that he wants to take off running because she says she's about to whoop that ass. So he thinks he can go take off running, lock himself in the door. Okay. Well, mom says, hashtag fuck that shit. She takes off her fucking sandal and I bo- I swear for God, I, I swear to you, I swear to you. He go, he runs down the hallway. He cuts the corner. As soon as he hits the corner, she throws the shoe and it cuts the corner with him and decks no. him in the back of the head. And you know how when you hear a body like fall into the wall or hit the ground or something, yeah. there was that. Doom, doom, doom. And like, I just I look back because I'm by now I'm sitting on the couch. What the fuck you mean? Fucking slime time live is on. So and all I see is just his fucking like his just feet sticking out from the corner of the fucking wall. Because his mom done laid it, and I'm still, I'm still trying to put it together the science behind that thing. Because I have just tried it, just bullshitting, not trying to hit anybody, trying to hit people, trying to hit friends, and I cannot, for the life of me, get a shoe or a sandal to curve the fucking corner. I don't know how she did it. Archie, I'm I'm gonna be your white girlfriend again. 
Uh oh. Okay. You do no, no, do you have the science behind it? <laughs> okay, Andy. no. I, I want to ask you, isn't there a special name that they have in the black community for the shoes that get thrown? I think you're thinking uh, of the well, Hispanic. I won't necessarily community. say it's a black name, but most oh. of the time, if they throw it, they're going to say house shoe. Oh, okay. Yeah. It must be, it must so, be yeah, you'll best. just hear, you'll just hear a house yeah. shoe. Now, oh. I know in the Hispanic community okay. or whatever like Chancla. that, they, yeah, they're going to throw that chong at yeah. your ass and hit you with that <laughs> shit. I'm running that's at you with that motherfucker. Like, yes, oh. that's what it is. That's what it is. Because I was thinking it was Chachi, Chachki. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's not it. What, what was yeah, no, nah, that's not it. Chongola. Chongola. No, they said it right. Oh, Chongola. Chongola. Yeah. Chongola. Yeah. Okay. Chongola. Okay. See me, I'm I sorry. run it together. To me, that O silent as fuck when I say it. Yeah. But like, it, yeah, but it's, it's there. It's there though. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, being the, I'm being the white person of the room. <laughs> So, basically, what about you and the ass whoopings? Did you give your take on the ass whoopings? Uh, no. Well, like, I don't have any kids, so I guess I don't necessarily have an opinion. But I, I can only tell you my own experience is that ass whoopings don't work on me, right? Like, you, I mean, it might hurt for a second, but she didn't really hurt my feelings, right? Mm. But when you take my shit away, mm. that was that was it for me. Like, I snuck out of the house one time. I got caught. I got my car taken away for a week. I never did that shit again. Hell no. Oh, we? I, 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 my friends. And my parents, only a week, but my parents wouldn't take me to school. I had to find my own rides to school. Like, and oh, I, was, I was miserable. They stuck to, it to you. Yeah. Oh, literally. Did. Yeah. Because my uh, sister, my sister snuck out of the house one time at three o'clock in the morning. I went to her boyfriend's house and a guy in our church lived across the street. And he saw her car there. And so he said something to my parents the next day in church about her car being you, there. Did he live across the street from me? Because that's exactly what the fuck happened to me. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Nosy ass fucking neighbors. And she got she got her Mind car taken business. away for the summer. I know. Not a week, the summer. Oh no, no. It didn't it take much with me. My mom. They could have taken it away for a day and I would never would have done it again. Like yeah, I don't like my shit being taken away. Oh no. I don't I don't Not like my that. Car. Not my car. Or if I couldn't go somewhere that I wanted to go, like I was upset. Like well, I was really well, your upset parents ever do the whole they take your video game away. Like they take they take the cords and shit, but they leave the console there. Uh, yeah. You can't yeah, turn yeah, the I motherfucker on. You got the controllers oh, yeah. and shit, but the cords and everything in it. So you just yeah. looking yeah. at it like and I did I did get That's ass women as a child because I like I was really ADHD and they didn't really know how to deal with me so they thought I just had behavioral issues right but like so I got my butt whooped a lot but like they realized that that really wasn't effective like that it didn't really matter yeah. and so when they started taking away my favorite things that's when I started acting right so that yeah. is but I also, brilliant taking my mom would back at me in a second yes just take away the cords or... and shit take away the accessories so where yeah, were you I, when I, my I, kids were being raised because <laughs> that is brilliant Yeah, I was I, how old are your kids uh, 24 uh, 26 and 24 I was probably in high school fucking up. Damn, that is brilliant. I wish I would have known that. I would have taken away their cords. Oh, that would have pissed them off. Oh, yeah, that it's insane. brutal oh, yeah. because oh, subconsciously you'll kids. get home and you'll go and like yeah. press the power button and think, yeah. and you like, oh damn. Or, yeah. or my, take the door off, off their bedroom. Oh, yeah. My Ooh, friend seems, that a lot. Yeah. My I've husband done that. takes the cords and then he locks them in our gun safe. So oh. they can't even try to like scavenge to try to find cords. That's or brilliant. you piss my husband off enough, he'll just cut the Wi-Fi to everything. Boom. <gasps> there goes yeah. all shit. He don't give a shit. My husband will go as far as to cut the fucking power. Like he don't give a shit. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> the power off. We are sweating in this hole. Yeah. Shit. You want it? Pay the bill. Let them street lights <laughs> beat your ass on the way home again if you want yeah. to, motherfucker. So Shit. I remember, um, do you guys gonna remember have to the... find a replacement refrigerator? You keep fucking around with me. We start using cooler in this bitch for groceries. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys remember the pay but the pay for each text? Before it became yes. an unlimited plan. Yes. Oh hell so, yeah, text per minute yeah. or shit like that. I, I only got like yeah. ten texts left. I was in high school, and my my mom had was working sixty hours a week to try to take care of us, mm. and so like I played water polo and and. It, Never had really had anybody show up for my water polo games, so Aww. that wasn't that wasn't the case. That wasn't that was not the issue. But anyway, so one day I'm at a tournament, 
And all of a sudden, my mom shows up, and she's got a paper oh, in her that's hand. That's not a good thing. <laughs> that's not a good oh. thing. And so she shows up, and she sees me, and I run into the locker room, and she followed me into the oh, locker room. Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, you know it's weird. <laughs> and I'm hiding from my mom because I know what she's there for. Oh, my God. And, and so I, I, I hide in a stall, and I'm standing on the on the thing, and I see her walking by looking for me under the stalls, and and I finally, like, I got out and I went back in the pool area thinking, okay, she's just going to keep looking. And she found yeah. me. And she goes, get your butt over here right now. Oh, and, I, and I was like, I was like all right, all right. So so she she shows me the paper that's in her hand. I had sent 40, 47,000 text messages in a month. <gasps> and, and, her, and her phone bill was $9,000. Oh, my God. She was ready to kill me. Yeah, I'm I wouldn't surprised be here you're still right alive now. now. Luckily, was, luckily, like, oh luckily, 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 she was able to get it down to nine hundred dollars oh instead of nine thousand dollars. But even still, she just played the kid bought Fortnite skins yeah. with my card yeah. type. Yeah. <laughs> I will yeah. tell you that that was the only time she ever showed up to a game, and I was, I, I mean, I it was like it astronomically high, a and my mom watches these videos. So phone $9, bill. She, she, I she want to drown you in that She'll probably, probably watch this and be like, "Yeah, I was really mad that day." Y'all must have <laughs> been recapping what, anime. That's a lot of freaking texts. You know I, you're old. I, I was, you know, um, I was yeah. one of those kids that you sent those chain, those chain text messages. Sorry, D, go ahead. Uh, I, I interrupted you. I'm sorry. You know you're old when your kids come to you. And they say, Mom, what's long distance? Damn. Right? Yeah. 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 And then you I gotta explain. I can hear the hurt in her voice on that one. Oh well, okay. <laughs> okay. And then you have to explain to them. I don't know if you guys will remember this. You have to explain to them what the 10 10 220 was. Do you guys remember 10 10 220? No. It was a card that you bought. And if you were going to call long distance, you had to you had to dial in 10, 10, 220, no, your card that. number, and then the lock the number. Oh, so this was before and putting number one before it and then getting the rotary charged. phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, right. I, I had one of those. Like something you would need to call prison. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, no, no, like really. No. That's true though. <laughs> You that's only true, have exactly twelve minutes like. left on your. I know, right. Right. Yeah, right. and that's what it would say. You put money on my books. <laughs> yeah. Um, when when we get off of here, you guys Google Google. Ten ten two twenty commercials, and you will see it come up. Damn. And there, and Which spoke, I will need to get going spokes, in about ten minutes. The spokesperson for ten ten two twenty was Toby Keith and Alf. Alf the Toby the, the puppet. Alf? Oh, I remember Al. Al oh, I he is the freaking goat for sure. And Toby, Al's yeah. a beast. and Toby Keith together in the same commercial. Toby Keith and Al. Oh, I love it. I love Toby Keith. R.I.P. Bro. Oh Lord. My okay. Um. So, um, real this one we can just go around real quick because I want to get a few a uh, few of these in too before yeah. uh, Amy dips. Um, <laughs> what's real barbecue? It, as far as like, and y'all, do y'all prefer y'all's barbecue with sauce or without sauce? With, oh. with. it's got to have sauce. It's not barbecue. I don't, I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say it's not really barbecue if it didn't have the sauce. Yeah, that yeah. would that would be kind of like calling a bag of Lay's chips that are just original barbecue. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't yeah, have sauce you know, you people, without the No, you can have you can have a dry rub though. So it doesn't That's necessarily true. have to be soft, but you can have a true. barbecue dry okay. rub All right. as well. See, yeah. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you said because yeah, now now we're now we're cooking for sure yeah. for sure because I'm with that when it comes to barbecue, I will take sauce, but the thing is, is your sauce will have to be fire. Like to me, oh, yeah, yeah, Dickie's but yeah, no, yeah, that one. I hope I hope that got picked up. Um, to me, Dickie's barbecue isn't real barbecue. To me, Dickie's barbecue, barbecue is fake barbecue. What the fuck Dickie's barbecue? The, we have I don't know. one over I don't here. I know what that is. It, we, we have the, one over the here. The barbecue side is real thin and watery. I'm just, if you haven't no. tried it, don't worry. No. You're not don't missing worry. anything. Yeah. But I will say, though, 
if you go to like the Texas State Fair or somewhere like that, or even if you just yeah. go to somebody like a cookout or something like that, there are like some of the best barbecue doesn't have sauce on it, but it's because of the dry rub and things like that that you were yeah. talking about. So like that yeah, that yeah. that's that's the key. You just can't yeah. throw it on there, slap that shit on a grill. No, season no. whatever like that and then just pull it off like now it, we're gonna have to sauce yeah. that but yeah if you're dry rubbing that yeah. shit for sure for sure damn hold yeah. on wait okay. Lacey, you you know dickies where you are no like i don't well, i don't mean like is that a, like a brand or like a yeah no it's like, it's like a, it's like a uh it's, it's like a it's like a chain restaurant type place but oh, they also yeah, cater no, no, oh i've yeah. heard of it no. before. no yeah no, not here <laughs> no dickies isn't real i would say if you like a, ch- Thank you, a Amy. chain chain type thing would be like Rudy's. We have like Rudy's would be like the chain barbecue, but like that's not where I'm gonna go for barbecue if I want barbecue. Now if I want cream corn, I'm gonna go there because I don't know what crack they put it in it, but that's just delicious. <laughs> uh, no, but like there's a place locally called Miller's Barbecue, and that is the place. So, which Their sounds like a, one amazing. of the small hole in the yeah. wall type places. That kill it because those anyways. are the ones that are gonna have the best yeah. shit all the time. The place that yeah, yeah, yeah. probably doesn't have a fucking commercial or an ad or something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. We got we the have lots of, like, they got the flavors. Yeah, hey, it's it, you only really go to the small places for barbecue here. Like I don't really go to chains and consider that like barbecue. It's like saying taco. Yeah, Bell I've never gone to a chain for barbecue ever in my life. Facts. Right, that that yeah. Taco Bell comparison like, is it's Mexican legit. food, right? But it's not like Mexican. Food. Right, that's it. It's like yeah. imitation crab meat. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I try to go to Taco steak. Bell. That's fine, but I don't go to Taco Bell because it's Mexican food. I go to it because it's right there. Right, because you want a Doritos Los <laughs> Taco like, or a fucking, yeah. you know what I'm saying, some nacho like, fries or some shit. I will tell you, it identifies. Hey. It identifies as Mexican food. Right. <laughs> hey, it was nice. It was nice talking. It wishes to you guys. it was. But ah. It's trans. trans <laughs> uh, it wishes we, it was. We hear your toaster. Oh, oh, oh not, speaking of identifying. Oh, uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you. Okay, right, bye, bye, toaster. For sure, for sure. Toaster. Yeah. Take care, man. Mel, yeah, right. Mel did write in our group chat, and they, she just had something come up and needed to go, but she said okay. to say bye and uh, and that she'll talk to us later. So okay. okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So with that one, uh, like from here till we get the rest of this, I will yeah. have to rely on the rest of y'all's recorded part on that one too, just because it'll take too long for me to go in and like reformat the screens and stuff like that right. and do all of that. But um, we're we're, no we're definitely still good though. So talking about the identifying part though, oh, what God. were y'all thoughts on the um on the Eminem track? I gotta be honest, I haven't watched anybody's um videos on it yet just you know what i'm saying because of Jenny? like i was saving yeah. mine but now that i've gotten mine out the way and finally oh, like okay. seen it and stuff like that it's yeah. i'm like all right now we can talk about it yeah. and shit like that so right, i want right, to know right. yeah i want to know y'all want to know y'all's thoughts when y'all heard it and everything it was very well, interesting okay. i will say that i did not react i watched it but i yeah. did not react to it because I've never really been an Eminem fan and I didn't feel it was my right to now that he's come out with a new one to jump on that bandwagon, but I did see it. Well, I don't, I don't think you, I don't, I like, I don't think you should feel like you don't have the right, like it's music and maybe this is a time to get into, to maybe some of his different stuff. Cause majority, like a lot of Eminem songs are like songs that were never like hot singles. Like some of my favorite songs were off of the old, like like the Eminem show and stuff like that were like Facts. never were on the radio. Right. Um and so it it might be fun to explore, but I definitely like I I I thought it was pretty awesome and kind of nostalgic feeling. Like I, I love Very that it was nostalgic. he brought that familiar familiarity yeah. back because that was like the Eminem that I like I remember when Eminem first came out. Like that shit was dope, right? Me too. And right. and so it just it felt like the return of Slim Shady in, in a sense. I hope but he like, brings him back. But the way he is now he it did. is <laughs> it was dope dude oh it was it was so dope and i thought it was i thought i really liked the bars like everybody is so worked up over the megan the stallion bar and uh and i don't really <laughs> that's know why, what I people are focusing on, right dude, oh. they're so mad i mean so she did get shot but <laughs> she did get shot yeah, yeah but i mean like, but it's man first it's, it's eminem that's like so it's she's gonna get mad at south double, park though. if they do an episode on her too like oh my dude. god tiptoe around this shit like Shit. Well, I mean, Nicki Minaj wrote a diss track called "Fucking Bigfoot." Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Like, but is. I didn't, I do, I do not see the I same. I mean, it was trash, but it was still. <laughs> yeah. Well, but you know, but I, I don't, I like, I mean, and maybe I missed it, but I just, I don't think, like, I don't feel like I heard the same animosity. Like, it wasn't that big of a deal. Right. right? They're, they they're were really assisting. coming for him on this one. But he, saying. he makes a double about, like, you know, if I hit a Megan, maybe I can, you know, get a shot at the feet, the feature, you know, like, I, and yeah. I thought that was dope. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I thought that was funny. Like I I thought that was a great like double, honestly. And so I don't I, really understand the outrage, but I it just feel good. It feels good to have zero fucks yeah. the Eminem yeah. back in there. Not the whole yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I great I feel like Eminem's always been one of those artists where he'll mm-hmm. do yeah. like he's like Kendrick Lamar and certain other artists. There are certain artists where they're gonna make the type of music that they wanna make regardless yeah, if yeah. it's for the old fans or new fans so to me yeah. that's what i look at a lot of like the recent projects and things like that that eminem had been putting out even the stuff that i'm not even the stuff that i'm not a fan of you know what yeah. i mean but, I, but this one was more of that reminder like hey motherfuckers i'm still here you know what i'm saying i can still slim shady this shit up real mm-hmm. real quick for y'all yeah. and, and he did there's... that because if 2000 if 2001 2002 eminem like really Ooh, yeah yeah was like here right now yeah. oh my god if, if there These is one thing that this world if, if there's one thing this world needs right now is slim shady no fucking seriously Dude. Yeah. Seriously. You. Seriously. Well, he's yeah. he's bringing slim shit. I guarantee it. He's bringing I sex and so. triggering. He's back <laughs> to triggering people. Well, because they're also really upset about um the trans Siamese cat that is yeah. oh, identified. I was as black that shit at work. <laughs> I thought that shit was hilarious too. But a I lot of people are very um very offended by that. Uh, uh, and they just gonna have yet. to shut the fuck up because yeah, damn it, it's like watching. Of- well, wait, it's like watching South Park daughter. and being offended. Really though, you know what you're getting into at that point. Like kids, that's yeah. a joke's on you at that point. Huh? Hold on. What'd you say, Amy? He did the, you know, F my kids to their brats and he showed a picture. I know. Of them. Oh, and right, one yeah, of yeah. them and one of them's non-binary or is trans. So, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. And they're in the I love their reaction too, because they were like, fuck you say fuck for. Shit. So it was just like it was the coolest fucking thing ever, though. Like, yeah. I, I thought, think it's like kind of faux outrage, honestly. No, yeah. I, I, I love I thought, it. And I just, I think it's one of those things where, and I'll say this, I haven't put it in like no video or anything like that. But personally, I feel like when it comes to like that community that's offended and things like that, they yeah. I feel like they need to understand the responsibility that comes with same thing. Black people had to go through it. Asians had to go through it. Indian people had to go through it. Every ethnicity had to realize when you're really talking about being equal with everybody, you got to understand you're going to get roasted. You're going to yeah. get made fun of. You're going to be in yeah. comedy jokes. We you're going to be it. mentioned in music. Said. You're not going to yeah. agree with everything. And just because yeah. you, you know, don't I, agree I, doesn't automatically also make that person a bigot or make it something right. hate related right. either. And that's something that really grinds my gears is that, oh, you can't say it that way. Hold on now. You got to be careful with shit like that because yeah. now you, you know what I'm saying I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying, I'm not making it political or anything like that. But when we as society start doing shit like that or we start giving passes on behaving that way now you starting to kim jong-un this bitch and shit and i'm not really with (laughs) that you know what i'm saying like you like really though like let him make his music you ain't gotta like it it may not be your line but at the end of the day that's what made eminem 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 just like how tom mcdonald is standing out right now when you have that one person who is just zero fucks given Mm -hmm. in a genre that they stand out in that shit's gonna pop. And I have yeah. to say, dude, it's I have fire. to say, I have to say my favorite line in the Houdini thing, and I'm gonna screw it up because I, I don't remember the first part of it. But he he says something about feeling gay, and then after that, he says, "I mean happy." Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know where just in case you motherfuckers want to get canceled. Like, I, I think I saying. think where that actually came from was one of his songs. He had, had you know, he got some flack for it, oh yeah big time for for those for those what? comments all of his songs yeah <laughs> yeah a so lot. the the thing that i really liked in the actual music video itself i think that in walking through that time portal and at the yeah. same time as of of i wonder what the old me would say yeah you yeah. know like oh and, yeah, 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 yeah you know so so well, did you recognize 20 years ago um it, no it's from 20, rap god oh yeah i don't i didn't see that video um it's the same portal from rap so god. So one of the things that's really interesting is even 20 years ago, 
I'm about so when I first moved up here ten years ago to um, the or Oregon Portland area, um, I came from Southern California as well, where I didn't I didn't have a single white friend. All of my friends were black, Hispanic, like really? you know, go yeah. I mean, I was the only white kid at some of the schools that I went to, and so coming That's up my here. Daughter. Yeah, so coming up here, one of the first interactions I had with someone who's who's African American up here was you're racist. And I was like, How? How? Because I don't see color? And they're like, Yeah, you're appropriating. I'm like, uh, What? What? You wanna be equal, yeah. but yet you wanna stand out? Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, facts. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? So, you know, it's it's very interesting because even in the last ten years, things have gotten so extreme. And yeah. she just about loving people. Just love the person exactly. in front of. Exactly. Why, why, why does it? Why do I have to look at you like you're a special snowflake? Exactly. Exactly. You're a person. I yeah. love you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I will say, there's snowflakes on both sides of the aisle. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. like yeah. a motherfucker. Oh yeah. Like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Be yeah. Because the reality is, I'm left, and I get a lot of flack from conservatives. And mm -hmm. conservatives get a lot of flack from the left. It's just, it's both yeah. sides. Yeah. Yeah. Both sides. But you know it what, really is. Amy, if we and would just what? sit, Amy, if we would just sit down and talk. Yeah. Yeah. You, you guys I have agree. two then liberals. I, then I can call liberal. you a snowflake to your face. Oh, not you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can be yeah. a snowflake. They had other words for that in my day. <laughs> But no, that's yeah. just um no, but I um as far as just the video as a whole, it really did feel good to just have yeah. to just really just get the old Eminem back on yeah. there. And I just yeah. I'm you're Eminem, Eminem is right there with I know we said it already, but like South Park and there's just certain yeah. people you're not gonna cancel, bro. Right. Like exactly. he's not you're not gonna they they're gonna get mad and it's gonna make headlines. And guess what he's gonna do? He's gonna You'll capitalize yeah. and make millions off of it. Oh yeah. Everybody's can talking I, about it. Can exactly. I say, can I just say one thing about South Park? Go ahead. I just reacted to Tom McDonald's people so stupid. <laughs> and he's got that line in there where he says That's what yeah. made me think of it. How do we get offended? We grew up on South Park. And he's right. Yes. How we grew up on South Park. How in the yeah. hell are we? Well, and then like, before that, we had fucking Millennial, Beavis and Butthead. Like, like, are you serious? I don't think those who grew up on that are offended. I think it's the generation. No, I think it's I the generation who did. Yeah. yeah I, I know. It's like everything got so politically correct. I grew yeah, up on recess to... and things like that where, where well, yeah, I... some some yeah. of them there's because there's some of there's some who I feel like like some like who I probably like went to school with who were kind of yeah. like already like it's just just I mean, super what about uber with with uber yeah. sensitive like Love I'm like I'm with this with my like with my daughter when it comes to when it comes to her mom and things like that because her mom is one of those like super sensitive people. You know what I mean? Where you got to really like watch things because, and I'm trying to teach my daughter, like don't play victim. You know what I'm saying? Own your yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. don't do the, don't do the victim yeah. and being just super sensitive. Can't nobody yeah. say everything, especially if you're one who loves to talk shit and you can, you know what I'm saying? And you can talk yours with the best of them. But then when you get that shit back on the other end, now it's, oh no, watch my fit. Nah, fuck that. I don't care and what, you know, I don't care what you are. You know, Archie, you know what I blame that attitude on? Go ahead. Participation trophies. Yep. Uh, yep. 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 True that. That's why I gave mine And what did M say who needed about the trophy? Yeah. Participation he did trophies. say something. Bro, yeah, he threw yeah. that shit. Yeah. Oh, that shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But it's true. Yeah. I, I did the my, Houdini reaction, and then I did the um, without me reaction after that, and oh, I yeah. caught so many more visual bars that he did in his lyrics, like the cacti, yeah. and he had the cactus in the other one, and the participation yeah. trophy for the eight year old, and he had the eight year old jump by into the CD in the first one. I just thought it was so brilliant, so brilliant. Yeah. 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 I'm a um, I'm I'm a teacher at a school and locally here, and one of the things that they do is they do recitals. And these recitals are done solo and they okay. offer trophies for each student. It's not a competition. It's like a, it's like a, you, you're learning a skill kind of like getting an award, you know what I mean? For 
perfect attendance or for straight A's, things like that. How do you guys feel about that? Well, I will say this. My my ex-husband was an asshole. Yeah. But one there was a couple things in our marriage that he taught our boys that I really appreciated. And one of them was if the boys came home with a participation trophy or ribbon, it got thrown in the garbage because he told them, you don't get awarded for showing up. Got to work for that shit. That is your responsibility is to show up. Yeah. Right. And mm-hmm. you get rewarded if you work your ass off and you get first, second or third place. Mm-hmm. Then you get rewarded. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But just for showing up. No, you don't. Yeah, and, no, that's and, how they fucked up field day. Yeah. And, and you know, it's funny yeah. now, now, now that my kids are grown, we've talked about this. I'm like, do you remember when your dad used to do that? And they go, yeah. And you know what? We're going to do the same thing to our kids. You damn right. Keep it going. Hell yeah. yeah. Guys, I got to get going soon because I got to make dinner. Hey. Okay. All right. Yeah. I got to make right. dinner. Cool, cool. So, hey, do y'all want to, do y'all want to, uh, there's one more. Do y'all want to just end it right here? Or do y'all want to get this last one out? We can get this last, the last one, one out. Get the last one Okay. Out. Yeah. Okay. Y'all, um, well, shit. I mean, y'all asked it. Um, the size matters, and is the black guy stereotype oh, yeah. about the white guys actually true? Eleven inches, okay. ass Tom. I, I'll yeah. start with this. <laughs> Tom's... Yeah. I'll start with this. I went to a <laughs> beach one time, and I didn't know what it was because oh. it kept saying clothing area, clothing area. <gasps> it and was then, a new beach. So I went over there, and then there's a non-clothing area, right? But I went over the yeah. beach. There, okay, I guess shrinkage is a real thing for black guys too because there was a black guy there. I'm sorry, but it was like, I mean, my clit oh, is no. big. Oh, no. Oh, like, oh, I'm just like, did you just um, say that? Oh, did, did I say that? that? I'm just saying. So Your just, husband is a preacher and so are you. I am a real person. We are, we are real facts. people. I, know. I am speaking yeah. facts. So oh, I love you, um, Amy. And I dated... I'm sorry. I've dated some black guys and um, I've dated some white guys and um, white guys were bigger. So Ooh. I don't think stereotypes is true. Really? I'm sure I there's there's a stereotype for a reason, but I think it's a stereotype. You definitely can't say it to everybody. Really? Uh, that's true. Yeah. I've heard stories. I know from I'm the keep, I'm going to keep the yeah. stories with my, you know, Silverado experience. <laughs> Uh, oh. okay I, I'm, I'm gonna just go last yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, i've seen some well endowed people but i'm just saying they're yes. not all it's it's hit and miss yeah. i think well okay. with my my first real boyfriend you know that there was encounters we'll be, keep it a little clean other yeah. than this part um <clears throat> well he is a white guy and he was um <clears throat> So Ooh. I'm just saying, like he was, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so, um, oh God, Charlie, and, do tell. Yeah. <laughs> and so, just ouch. So I gotta say. So and then, uh, then on the flip side, you know, I dated a black guy in in high school, and but he was also. Mm. Nah. So. <clears throat> It's really yeah. hard. To you don't like, say. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, but then I've also been with, you know, <clears throat> so it just <laughs> like, it's just, you know, and that <clears throat> was a white guy. So I'm just saying, so like what I have to compare to, I don't really know. Like yeah. how true really is it? Other than, you know, you just go catch a, you know, a dirty okay, movie. Yeah, I'm really going just last. Gotta- you just got, I guess you just got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I can't believe we're talking about this. Yep, hey. D, you're next. I mean, Welcome to the dark side. No, D is not next because D has no idea. So, uh, uh, oh, the next person. okay, right on. For sure. Nope, I'm picking up what you're putting down. D does not have that experience. So let's just. D did not have that D. Got it. I'm just saying stereotypes are hyper exaggerations <laughs> of what people suspect <laughs> to be true. Oh, okay. Okay. So here's, here's my That's comments. Excellent. You could have someone who drives a really big truck have a really small pee pee. 
<laughs> or you can have someone drive a busted old car and have a long dog. So, <laughs> so about how you like... use it. Because, I mean, that person on in the big old truck is probably slamming their foot on the gas, showing their tiny pee-pee, versus the person who's humble about it, may know how to use it, and try not to hurt you. But that's <laughs> like... That's my thought. Yeah, thank you for yeah. trying to hurt me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, it was the face there's almost, yeah, there's, there's only so much space. Go. There's almost, there's yeah. only so much allowed space. The more, the more you force it, yeah. the more you hurt them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and it can only go so far. So if you keep, yeah. uh, right, you know, yeah, right. I mean, yeah. 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 you're gonna dislodge something if you do too much. That doesn't feel good. <laughs> you can move it to the left. You can move it to the right, but put it back when you're done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh uh, yeah, y'all just let me know when the Your turn. Okay, Archie, Archie, we've been waiting. You go. <laughs> okay. Um so um what I will say is um well I'll well, start off by let saying Let me rephrase the, the um, question. Let huh? me rephrase the question for you. I'm gonna rephrase the question. Okay. So tell me about size. Does it really matter to you? I mean, well, I'm not on that end of it. I mean, <laughs> usually, I mean, <laughs> I'm not. Try- I, I mean, hey, y'all brought me on. Y'all brought up the topic. Y'all threw it there. I was- it's an uncomfortable I'm- topic to answer, isn't it, Archie? <laughs> you said what? It's an uncomfortable um, uh, topic to talk about, isn't it? Archie? Well, no, I mean, this is just one of those few times where I've been the only black guy on the deal and this At least is the you're actual not subject the only but hey we're guy. keeping it we're keeping it real though oh uh, no like um never really had like any complaints there what i found out is that they say that usually like because i i wear a size 11 okay, okay. and usually that from what i've been told correlates oh uh, it doesn't how no. however it doesn't. However, ratio, though, I think the reason why the stereotype is there is just because if you were to take like if you were to take five white dudes and five black dudes and if you were to line us up. More often than not, the black dudes not saying the white dudes aren't going to freaking have any or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I ain't Mm -hmm. no freaking period. I've seen porn. You know what I'm saying? I'm not dumb. I know white dudes are out there fucking packing some shit, but compared to oh, us God. black dudes, though, the ratio on y'all get what the fuck I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, it ain't comfortable yeah, talking yeah. about another motherfucker. It's, I yeah. could talk about my own shit, but I'm not saying. comfortable talking about another motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just another. But y'all I get what the fuck just... I'm saying, though. I, I hope I made a... that clear. I just think it's another stereotype. I think if I mean, you know, I think if you well, like you said, most, you just. Yeah, most stereotypes I think are based in some sort of truth, some but sort, not yeah. always. Exactly. You know I mean? yeah. That's that's exactly. why they're a stereotype. Like, exactly. re- like, like redneck people. No, no yeah. pun intended. Right. It's just, it's just reflecting a small portion. I see of what there. you did there. <laughs> of, of of the people who it's impacting. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's real but, shit though. But no, hey, um. Uh, I don't know about y'all though, but this was actually this was this, this was actually fun though. I'm definitely down it for was us very to, fun. for us to do so for us to definitely yeah. do some yeah. more of these for sure for sure. Like yeah. again, thank y'all for uh, yeah. bringing but, us on. But not uh, so square table. <laughs> but the, oh yeah, yeah. hey that, that square table that square yeah. table. But yeah. hey, before we go out, before we get out though, because I don't think we did it at the we don't think we said it at the beginning. I know we were jumping in, but real quick yeah. before we go, can everybody actually shout out their channel names? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll let y'all first, have the floor Archie. first. Oh. Okay, okay well, well, my channel name ahead. is okay. Here is the story. I am D Burns and I do reaction videos. Uh Lacey Media Productions and I do reaction videos and create compilations and commentary videos podcast style. And uh, I am uh, Carol, and I'm with the Everybody Podcast, which is oh yeah, me also too. Uh, Lacey and yeah. uh, and Mel and Deadhead that was yeah, yeah, earlier. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we're the bitty, bit, the, we're the bitty, bitty, we're the bitter yeah. bitty podcast. 
Um, and we're hella fun. So come check us out. Yeah. Sometimes yes, the hell they days. are. Yes. I am Amy. I do Amy Kins Forever, a reaction video. Uh, if you want your bars broken down, come check Go to her. I will break That's where you go. Yeah. Yeah. Go to her. Right. Yep. Go to her. Yep. Go to her. Yep. And I'm Pastor Brent Reacts, uh, my reaction channel as well. So super awesome. Yeah. I just like enjoying music. Good Me shit. Too. Good shit. Yeah. And if y'all don't know, which most of y'all don't, um, I am Archie. I do not just reactions, but I do um, like AI wrestling shows. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about bringing, well, we're thinking about bringing the podcast back and things like that, but I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm a variety channel type person from game streams to reactions to just a little bit of everything. So if you ever want to just take your mind off some shit, come sip with your boy yeah. and we're good. Yeah. But again, y'all, thank y'all so much for being yep. here and giving me y'all's time. I look forward to connecting with y'all again. And yes. hey, I will talk to y'all soon. Okay, yeah. bye. Woo. All right, Love you guys. good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.